What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. Today we have a little bit of a different video for you guys. It's a little bit of a vlog style. Right now we're in Orlando, Florida at the... It's pouring. Oh. It's oh, pouring. Oh it just started gosh. raining. What's the name of the hotel? Grove Resort. We're at the Grove Resort right now. It's the Grove Resort and Water Park. So um, we're going to try to hit some of that this weekend. Um, right weather, now, it right is now. pouring. It literally just started raining out of nowhere. People are running. I don't understand why they're already wet. Alright guys, so it's going to be a pretty lit vlog. Make sure to stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys later. Alright, so oh, basically... I yeah. making faces again. This girl's always making faces. I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling and we're gonna just see how crazy this weekend gets. Crazy! Uh, no. Please, no. Stop that. I don't think that yeah, Is please. That that's not. This is a Beyonce song. Hi, <laughs> hey, YouTube. You can't even come into this apartment because it's not made for you and you need a guest room ticket and you don't have one. <laughs> well, no. we're back, <laughs> back to the vlogging life. Listen, we're in this beautiful apartment style hotel right here we got this beautiful kitchen right here leads into the living room right here nice size living room beautiful dining area king suite right here beautiful chair right here my favorite part the bathroom look at this double vanities right here you got a tub and a shower private bathroom it's crazy and a big walk-in closet it's a lot of room for a little hotel. Then bam, we got a balcony. You even got people sitting down. This is crazy. Hungry people. They got hungry people. Then here's the second bedroom. Smaller bed, I think it's a queen size bed. Um, the first one was a king size bed. And then we have our own private suite as well. This one only has one uh, sink, but this is the bathroom. Uh, let me try to get a light on in here. Here is the closet space, and here is the second bathroom. Pretty sick hotel room. Oh, and let me not forget, they do have washer and dryer, just in case you need to wash some of your clothes. All right, guys, what's up? Day two of the adventure in Orlando. Right here, we're at the water park that is attached to our hotel. Um, let's see what we get into. Alright guys, so we're going on the water slides. There's two water slides in this park. A green one and a yellow one. The green one is an all open one. Uh, the yellow one is all closed. I'm going to go hit the green one right now. <laughs> I saw your eyes. That's right hey, that shit right here, you hit that Whoa, that, car? Car? that shit is fast. Bro, that shit is fast. <laughs> both slides are pretty good. The yellow one and the green one are both pretty good. Well, and they're both pretty good. fast. <laughs> yeah. I'll catch everything. I mean, I can shoot B-roll footage, so this could be like BB for B-roll, but when we talk, we can talk as well. Why be in the mirror? Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Yo, get your girl. <laughs> you kick him or you touch him. She, she put her foot on top of my foot. <laughs> if I was rich, I think I'd get a lazy river at my house. Um, 100%. You know what I mean? Like, if you had enough money. Uh-oh. Just get a fucking... Sorry. We were keeping on Out of it, bro. You haven't been to the green one? 
It's the things you were riding on. Alright guys, so this is like included in the hotel, so this is at no extra charge. I think it's a great deal because the hotel was a great price and this is just an added incentive to come to this hotel. Also, if you're not staying at the hotel, it's only $30 extra to come here. So if you're in the Orlando area, I just want a quick little small water park, I definitely do recommend this spot. So right now, we are in Disney Springs. We are required to wear this mask and we did have to get our temperature checked. Um, other than that, it does look pretty busy for it being a pandemic outside. Right now, we're gonna go have dinner. Um, tell you that chicken guy or the polite pig. I think we're gonna choose the polite pig. And then we're just gonna get chicken guy for like a little midnight snack. So right now I'm just gonna show you some of the vibes of Disney Springs. So we decided to eat on the polite pig. I'll give you guys some looks on the food that we get here. So right here we have the sweet potato fries, mac and cheese, barbecue french fries. I actually want the slider combo, but as always, I always eat some of her food. So she has one over here, and I have the other two over here. One and Andre, I got the barbecue ribs, side of barbecue fries, mac and cheese cornbread. And Andrea got mac and cheese, cauliflower, and a salad. Very healthy choices. All right, so we just got done at the Polite Pig. My boy Juan's gonna give it a rating right here. Well, I'm too stuffed to tell it, but... Thank five. What's you out good. of ten? It's good. Nine five. That's what I was just telling. Them. Nine five. Nine five. You heard it here first. Nine five out of ten for Nine the polite five. pig in Disney but Springs. To be fair, I haven't had ten out of ten barbecue yet, so it's still up for grabs. But right now, it's the best spot. The polite pig, top gunners. All right. So when you guys come to Disney Springs, make sure to stop by the polite pig. Nine point four. I'm gonna give it a smoked barbecue back home. Thin air in Boca now. Some boys fire too. Alright y'all, so it's day three in Orlando. Right here we're at the Vineland Premier Outlets. Right off the highway. It's right next to downtown Disney or Disney Springs as it's called now. Um, we're gonna see if we can get any deals. We're going into Nike right now. I'll let you guys know if there is any deals in Nike. And it's my boy's birthday. So make sure to comment down, happy birthday. Be too far. What happened? Oh, okay, well I tried on four. And I'm going home with two. The deals and steals. Oh yeah, you already know. I never get lucky like this. For the guy section, it's pretty dry. But for the girl section, they actually have some heat. All right guys, so we just left the Adidas store. I did kind of blow a check in there. Um, when we get back to the house, I will show you all my pickups. All right, so we're back home from Orlando. And I wanted to just do a quick little run over of some of the pickups I had. Um, I stopped off at Uniqlo in Disney Springs and I also went to Adidas Outlet. Um, let's start off with the Uniqlo pickups. Uniqlo had a pretty good sale running there. Um, I got some t-shirts for pretty good prices and then some for normal prices. Um, I was able to secure some of the Billie Eilish Mirakami collab uh, t-shirts. So let's get right into it. First one is this all over white uh, Billie Eilish Mirakami collab. Right here is the shirt. 
Um, right here we have all of the traditional Mirakami branding back here. And this is like the Billie Eilish cutout uh, figure right here. It's a white shirt and the Mirakami branding is like a light gray on there so you really can't see it. I am thinking about tie-dyeing this t-shirt because I think it will look pretty sick. I think it will help make the Mirakami uh, logo stand out. It's a pretty cool shirt, pretty subtle. Not too uh, bright and vibrant. Right here we have a yellow one. It's a yellow tee. Um, right here, the cutout figure again, but this time the Mirakami branding is inside the cutout figure. And then on the back it does say Billie Eilish uh, by Mirakami. Third t-shirt is a black one. Right here is Billie Eilish on the front and then some of the Mirakami uh, traditional drawings on top of it. The back is plain, just a nice little shirt. Um, and these are a little oversized, so I do like the fit of these tees. Let's see. I think I picked up a couple more Billie Eilish shirts. Yes, I did. So I have this Billie Eilish one. Um, Mirakami branding right there on the side. And it's just a face tee, basically. Nice print. Nothing on the back. Just the graphic on the front. And I did do a double up. I picked up the same shirt I first showed you uh, with the cutout figure and the light uh, Mirakami branding right here. Um, so this is the one I actually am going to tie-dye. I'm going to keep one dead sock and I'm going to tie-dye this one. Now some of the deals at Uniqlo, they had a lot of shirts that were like 50 to 60% off. So I picked up this Dragon Ball Z uh, collab that they had. I got it for $5 from originally 15 So I couldn't pass up on that. I found this Goku one, $5 as well. Uh, let's see. Another Dragon Ball Z T. This one is Frieza, $5 as well. And last but not least, I did find a hoodie. And if you know me, I love jackets. As you can see, I'm in a black hoodie. I'm constantly in hoodies. So I got this uh, Frieza one, and I'm actually going to tie-dye this one as well. So that's going to do it for the Uniqlo pickups. Um, I did go to the Adidas outlet, and I think I was able to secure two really good pairs of shoes for an amazing price. So let's start off with the t-shirt I secured at Adidas. Just a plain black t-shirt. It says 24-7 on the front on the right chesticle. And, oh wait, is this the left? Actually, sorry. It says 24-7 on the left chesticle. And my favorite part about this shirt is the back graphic. It says, all day I dream about sneakers, 24 hours, seven days. And that's a true statement. I'm constantly thinking about sneakers. Sneakers are always on my mind. Okay, so let's get into the sneaker pickups. Right here I have a pair of night joggers, size 11 and a half. And right down here, I don't know if you can tell by the box, but this is a 4D sneaker. Um, these night joggers, they had priced at $99.99, so 100 bucks, But they had an additional 40% off on them, so I got them for $60. And here we have all over white night jogger uh, with 3M hits throughout. Um, this is basically a collab with 3M and Scotchlight. As you can see... Has a 3M and Scotch Light uh, pull tab on the tongue right there. 3M hits right there. As you can see, big 3M right here. And it's just a really nice shoe, really basic shoe, just an everyday shoe. It has boost in it, so it's gonna be super comfy. And for $60, I couldn't pass up this shoe. Now for my favorite pickup. I've been waiting to add an Adidas 4D sneaker into my collection. The only thing was is that the price point was really high and I haven't just been waiting to find them for a good price. And I think I really did find a great deal. Right here, we have the Adidas 4D. It is a ZX4000. Right here, 4D box. Lid says Adidas 4D right there. 
So the suggested retail on these are 350 and at the outlet, that's what they were going for, 350 But they did have an additional 40% off. So I was able to secure these for $200. So I got $150 off. And I knew I couldn't pass up on these. Right here, this shoe says, I want on it. Um, 40 midsole. I did wear this shoe for about three and a half hours and it is super comfy. So for whoever is saying that it is not comfy, I don't know how you do not think this shoe is comfy. It is not as good as Boost, but it is super comfy. Like I could wear this shoe for at least 12, 13 hours and I think my feet will be perfectly fine. Um, and the reason why I got this shoe was because I really liked that I said I want on this one. And on the other one, it says I can. So it's like a little mismatch vibes. One's green, one's orange. Um, heel tabs are different on each shoe. So I really did like that um, aspect they added to the shoe. Right here is like an all prime knit, fly knit upper. Uh, suede hits right there. Right here wrapping around the heel. Right here you see the ZX4000 4D um, embossed inside the suede. And it's just a really nice shoe. Um, I did go true to size. I wish they would have had 11 and a half, but the biggest size they had was 11. Um, it fits me. It just fits me a little too perfect. On most of my shoes, I like to have a little bit of room in there because um, sometimes the shoe does like... When the shoe is tight, it kind of feels weird around my toes. So I do like to go up a little bit of half a size, but went with a size 11 and it fits me pretty well. And like I said, I did wear these for about four hours. And after about 30 minutes, it felt like there was nothing on my feet. It felt like basically I was walking on clouds. So I definitely do recommend the Adidas 4D sneaker. So at the end of Adidas, I had about $270 in savings. I paid about $280 for everything that I picked up, which were the two pairs of shoes and the t-shirt. Um, in my book, that's a great deal because the Adidas 4D alone is normally $350. All right, guys, just gonna wrap up my video. I had an amazing time in Orlando. The Grove Resort and Spa was an amazing hotel and I definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10. Um, the water park was amazing. The service was amazing. The room was great. It was big and spacious. Um, everything about this trip was amazing. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, I will be putting out more content. My next video, I have a little, I have a little venting video about goat. Goat kind of did me wrong in the next video. So I will explain that coming up in the next video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram at Brotato Chip and TikTok at Brotato Chip as well. Link for both of those will be down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment your best deal you've ever seen at an outlet mall. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to turn on post notifications so you stay up to date on all my new content. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.